Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be drawing this super cute spider. Oh yeah, spider. Okay. <laughs> drawing this spider and you can grab anything that you want to draw with anything you want to color with and we're gonna be drawing again super cute spider oh my gosh so cute right so cute you got even if you don't like spiders so cute so we're gonna be doing this lovely spider um and practicing our art making skills our drawing skills we're gonna become better artists we're not gonna give up we're just gonna keep making art it's gonna be sick okay anyways and if you're looking for more art tutorials or some free art lessons, or if you want to join my free online form, if you're an adult, like a parent, um, then check out artastickids.com. Um, it's where uh, you can go find different art ideas for kids. Uh, perfect for finding an art resource library, I'm sorry, an art lesson library that you can stream on demand at home and make art at home. Oh yeah, definitely. Perfect for kids wanting to learn how to make art, whether you're using uh, wax crayons or watercolor paints or timber paint, um, oil pastels. I'll show you how to use them using hundreds of different on-demand streaming video lessons that I've made. So check it out, artastickids.com. Link in the description below the video. And with that being said, let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by artastickids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at artastickids.com. Let's draw a spider web. So we're gonna begin off with our spider's eyes. We're gonna draw one two circles, two big circles, and then right above and sort of in between, we're gonna do one, two, three, four smaller circles for our spider. In each eye, we're gonna draw a curving triangle, if you want. You can just do a little tiny line or square up in the top ones if they're pretty small. And then we're gonna go ahead and color in the dark of the eyes leaving those little marked out areas nice and white so it looks like the light is shining on them We're gonna give it a mouth, so we're gonna draw two curving lines. I'm gonna draw a curving letter V on the end of each one to make a spider mouth. And then we'll draw a curving line that connects the two big eyes and then a curving line on the bottom to do the same. We'll add the next part of the body with some zigzag lines. And then one big curving line above that. In the big curvy line, we're gonna draw some more curvy lines. And that's gonna give some stripes on the body. Of course, it's becoming spring and summertime. So spiders out there getting his nest all ready or his spider web. I'm working on that. And of course, catching flies because all the flies are up those times of year. So it's everybody's moving and grooving. All right, let's add some legs. We're gonna draw curving lines at the front on each side. And then we're gonna draw curving lines that just come around and connect. And of course, there are four on each side to make eight legs on our arachnid. Yeah, there we go, nice little cute spider. Okay, we're gonna draw one line up for part of the web. And then we're gonna just draw some lines outward. We're zoomed in nice and close on our spider web. Now I know web is not black. However, I can't draw in clear on white paper. The viewer won't see it. 
if I draw in clear on white paper. So we're just going to take the creative license of drawing in black for the purpose of being able to see the spider web. Okay, so I'm gonna connect all these diagonal lines with some curvy lines. And I'm just going around and that is how we draw spider webs. They're just curving lines and diagonal lines. They look complicated. But once you draw them and you know how to draw them, it's not so hard. And once we get farther up the web, we're only gonna see parts of them here and there. We're just gonna draw little echoes of them off the page. Just like that, so it looks like it's disappearing. Now if you want, you can always add little bugs or critters that have gotten stuck the web, whatever you would like. Some little spider food, because of course it's spring and summer. We gotta, they're ready to eat and so is everybody, right? And then to finish off your spider, you can go ahead and give it some color. I don't know if I wanna do that color. Nah. Mm, let's do lavender. Now you can go ahead and color your spider using your choice of art making materials and colors, whatever you would like, you do that. And I'll see you when it's done. Once you're done, your lovely spider is done. 
Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.